The now 17-year-old Nigerian math genius Esther Okade backed a PhD in financial mathematics at the age of 14, enrolled at the Open University in the UK at the age of 10, passed the GSCE exam at the age of 6, and wrote a math workbook at the age of 10. <laughs> Let's learn more about her. Hey, my lovelies. Welcome back to my channel. I just love that. All the numbers and the solving is like a mystery. <sighs> a little girl, rather, that has just gotten into university to study uh, a math course at 10 years old. Is she Britain's cleverest girl? To discuss these issues with me today is Dr. Chrissy Mafidon, who is a consultant on education. Dr. Chrissy, you're very welcome to our program. Thanks for your kind invitation. And I'm almost calling her a lady. <laughs> <laughs> Most people yeah. wonder how so young she got into university. Mm. Now, She's a 10-year-old girl and she has just been accepted onto university to study a course on maths degree despite not going to school. If you were to ask a six-year-old what he or she would like to do with their time, I'm sure the answers would range from playing with toys to watching their favorite cartoon show. However, the case is not the same for British Nigerian Esther Okade, who at six years old was already taking a maths GCSE generally undertaking by 14 to 16-year-olds in the United Kingdom and getting a C. She wrote her first math GSCE exam, a British high school qualification, at just six years old, where she received a C grade. A year later, she outdid herself and got the A grade she wanted. Then in 2014, she scored a B grade when she wrote the math A level exam. In 2015, at the age of 10, Okade enrolled at the Open University, a UK-based distance learning college, for a university maths course and began getting straight A's as one of the youngest undergraduate students in the country. Three weeks after enrollment, she was already top of the class, receiving a perfect score on her first test, which she said was easy. At the time, Esther said, I want to finish the course in two years. I actually wanted to start when I was seven. But my mom was like, you are too young, calm down. <laughs> so I'm going to do my PhD in financial maths when I'm 13. I want to have my own bank by the time I'm 15 because I like numbers and I like people and banking is a great way to help people. While some may credit our mom or Monife or Kade, who is a mathematician herself, Going to university was entirely Esther's idea. Esther's mother, Efeokade, noticed her daughter's flair for figures shortly after she began homeschooling her at the age of three. Perhaps what is most inspiring about Esther's story is that she's not taking advanced math courses simply because she can. She's doing it because she sincerely wants to. You can hear from her tone, from everything she says and does, that she genuinely enjoys mathematics i just love that all the numbers and the solving is like a mystery <sighs> CNN reported that little Okade started studying for a degree in mathematics this January. She apparently passed her A-levels, applied to the Open University last year, and after a phone interview, an essay and an exam, she was told in December that she had been accepted into the course. It's two months now since she started her maths degree. How does she find it so far? It's easy. It's easy? It's super easy. Her mother is quoted saying, Esther is doing so well. She took a test recently and scored 100%. End of quote. Interestingly, her younger brother seems to be following in her footsteps. Six-year-old Isaiah is already taking advanced high school A-level exams in math and studying calculus and advanced algebra. The siblings are apparently homeschooled at their Walsall West Midlands home by their mother, Omonefe Okade. She says of Esther, quote, By the time she was four, I had taught her the alphabet, her numbers, I saw that she loved patterns, so developed a way of using that to teach her new things. I thought I would try her with algebra, and she loved it more than anything. Esther's love for algebra is driving her to be a publisher. She is reportedly writing a series of math workbook series for children called Yummy Yummy Algebra. 
the 10 year old seems to have her future already planned now i'll go to my phd and then from there i'll start running my own business how to be a banker are you finding your degree it's easy it's easy super easy so how quickly do you think you're going to do it my, I was thinking about two years. Fantastic. So what do you want to do when you finish your degree? Well, I'll go to my PhD and then from there I'll start running my own business. How to be a banker. So you want to be running your own bank? Yep. And how old do you think you'll be when you do that? Mm, 16. Oh. 15. <laughs> Besides becoming one of the youngest college students in history, Esther had also written a series of math workbooks for kids called Yummy Yummy Algebra, Esther told CNN. Remember that Esther said that she would like to have a PhD by the time that she was 13. Well, she was able to accomplish it at the age of 14 when she bagged a PhD in financial mathematics. This is just another example of how this country continues to produce greatness, whether it is in the country, whether it is in diaspora. Um, Esther Alcadia has continued to do amazing things. At 17, too, she, she, she made some incredible feats that if I wanted to just continue, this video would be too long. But you can look her up yourself and just see how this girl, this lovely, she's going into a young woman now. She's no longer a girl, but how she's doing so incredibly well. And just, you know, it's just been incredible to see. I don't know what most of us were doing when we were six years old. But it was definitely not applying to to colleges. It was definitely not taking, you know, um, secondary school grade mathematics. It was definitely not applying to universities at the age of seven. I don't even think any of us can remember what we we're doing then. And that makes this phenomenal. It makes this even more exceptional to be this young to be this young and already taking such leaps so i just want to say that kudos should be given to the parents too because this tells you that these parents are telling this girl to dream to dream big no dream is too big they are telling her you can tell that even at home she's not limited her parents are letting her know that she's not limited she can do it she can be whatever she wants to be and so i'm, I'm sure that's one of the reasons why Besides, of course, the obvious talent that this girl has, her mother who is a mathematician too, obviously has passed this down to her and this girl is doing phenomenally well. So it's just incredible to see, honestly, because <laughs> even for some of us as adults, we are still struggling with what to want to do. But apparently this little, this young girl or this little girl growing into a young woman right now already has her life mapped out, you know. We can only wish her the best and hope that everything works out exactly as she hopes that it would it would be for her and that she'll continue to be a source of pride for her parents, for Nigeria, a country of origin, for, for the country of residence and you know for humanity at large. That's it for this video, guys. Let me know what you guys think in the comment section. Uh, most importantly, I want you guys to tell me, do you remember what you were doing when you were six years old? Do you remember what we're doing at six? I would like to know in the comment section. Or what you're even doing at 10? <laughs> or what, what, what was your plan? What, what did you plan that you're going to be at 10? <laughs> I would like to know in the comment section. I think it's make for an interesting conversation in the comment section. That's it for this video, guys. Don't forget to like the video. Don't forget to subscribe to the channel. And I'll see you guys in the next one. Bye, guys.